What I think is really very exciting to see is how the industry has matured. Hello, I'm Steve Whitaker. I'm currently um, Executive Director for the Avoca Quality Consortium and also President for Pharma PM Consulting. Uh, I've spent many years at Eli Lilly and Company. Most recently was as COO for the Cardiovascular Acute Care Platform. Also was involved in establishing uh, early constructs for Lilly's outsourcing partnership arrangements. Um, as having been involved with the partnerships program, uh, partnerships and clinical trial program for a number of years, I've seen the progress, the growth, the adaptation that the program has made through the years. And I think through the mid-2000s, the program focused very much on the gradual modifications from tactical to more strategic partnerships, the relationship constructs that were in place, uh, cost constructs, and things of that nature. And those were very fundamentally important at that stage of where the industry was and where they were modifying and growing. So while the early focus was on sponsors and CROs, uh, now we very much recognize that you have to have the investigative site and the patient ultimately woven into a comprehensive program to address a lot of the challenges that are in play uh, with the industry at this point in time. So it's not just the relationship aspects to that, but it's also where the data are, where the information resides so that we can make intelligent decisions. And the other thing that's happening then within the industry is the pre-competitive environment. And that pre-competitive environment is where we are looking at the opportunities to um, bring all the parties together, sponsors, CROs, with large and small organizations. We're able to look at that in the context of saying, what can we do as an industry to deal with efficiency, cost effectiveness? What can we do even from a strategic standpoint to get more value? So it's no longer just the cost proposition but it's the value proposition. And as we look at that, the patient ultimately becomes an integral part of that. And so this year's event um, in Las Vegas, as well as we go forward into the Boston event and future events, there's an opportunity for us to weave that totality of that partnership together. And I'm just excited to kind of see where we're headed. Related to the context of this pre-competitive space, so where the executives and the leaders are coming together in a pre-competitive setting, talking intimately with each other to be able to learn from each other what steps are being taken. It allows us to more rapidly move through that uh, change initiative that the industry needs to, uh, to enable. And so partnerships is providing us a venue to do that. So prior to the core two-day program, uh, we now have on Summit Day an executive uh, venue. And so it is fascinating to sit in those because it is a very um, kind of comfortable, uh, peer-oriented discussion and it is not a presentation where people are just being spoken to. It's a very interactive engagement with the top of mind most important topics that are challenging the industry uh, in today's uh, stage of where we are with partnerships. And so it's an opportunity and what really plays out is people learn from each other, they gain insights of who's kind of stepping out into the horizon or into where that direction might be headed. It allows them to challenge each other in a very open forum, but a very collegial forum. And then also what it allows us to do is to create relationships, relationships that carry on beyond the partnerships event. So those relationships allow the executives, once they understand who has certain thoughts in what spaces, it allows them to contact them after the events. So uh, in terms of achieving that value-added piece of the executives getting together and learning and talking and taking it to the next level, the Partnerships Executive Leadership Boardroom Forum is exactly what we need. And it has provided that forum and the uh, opportunity to initiate those discussions that will carry forward.